is to take a, a brush that's got a fairly chiseled edge. And this is those Dynasty synthetic brushes I've talked about so much. They're wonderful little brushes. See, they got a real chisel like this. Look how thin that is. What you want to do is you just take, take that brush and a little bit of water and a touch of white, which is your gesso. Thin it way down. Don't put too much on there. See, I've kind of fanned that out a little bit there. And very gently, now here's the secret. I want you to gently glide this brush across like this. Now, we'll notice, see what it's doing? It leaves a little film across there. It's just fabulous. It creates a soft, this is called glazing. So this will be glazing your water, phase one. See that beautiful little glaze I just put across there? My gosh, tell you what, folks, once you learn how to glaze, you will never look back. Glazing is great. I'm going to take a piece of charcoal here now, folks. I want everyone to pay attention to this. It's real important. If you're going to have, say, a fence going, say, into the distance or any object, telephone pole or whatever it is, I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to take my brush, I mean my charcoal, and I'm going to sketch in some fence posts going off into the distance. Now remember, these are studies to help you understand this stuff, so you know, keep that in mind. I could put one more here maybe just to kind of help you just a little closer to the water. Now let me give you the general rule here on reflections of animate objects. Here's what a lot of people don't understand, and this is in, in all my books and some of the other videos you've seen and tapes you've seen me do. But if you're learning for the first time, look at this now. As the water, as you see your object, if it leans to the left above the water, it will lean to the left in the water. So you see how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squiggle this in. You determine the length of the reflection by getting your fingers, measuring it like this. Go to the bottom of the object, not the edge of the water. The bottom of the object. Go like this, and I usually put a little mark in the water so I'll know about where to end the reflection. Okay, so this fence post is right here. So once again now, come in here, put that little chiseled edge, and I put nice little, I don't know, just a little white ripple, little sparkles in the water. Now you can put these out in here like this in different places just as long as they're careful and they're kind of parallel. You can put those, especially when you have reflections like this where you've got a lot of things in the water. And remember, anything you reflect, even these little bushes, if you had brought weeds out of these, you would reflect them in the water like we did this side over here. But all you do now is you just kind of come in here and you finish out your little, little ripples. And if you do it in the right order, folks, and you keep the water soft and subtle, you will love painting water. It's one of the more fun things you'll do when it comes to landscape.